Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Richard, I'm a photographer from the UK and uh, today I thought I would just go through real quick some gear that I will be taking to our um, to America when we go on our big family holiday this summer. We've got a 20 day, I don't know, 2000 mile road trip um, around the Rockies and Wyoming and South Dakota and Yellowstone National Park and places like that. Before I go on though, and to save somebody commenting on this, I will put down here the minute that I start talking about my gear um, because I just wanna give you a bit of background as to why I'm doing this. And if you wanna skip ahead, click on this minute and that will save someone the trouble or anyone the trouble of telling viewers in the comments when it actually starts. So, um, so by way of a background, obviously we don't do these trips very often. This is the first one we've done since 2019. And as a result, I wanna make sure that I capture everything I can. So. Um, I want to make sure that I've got the gear with me. I don't want to be standing in a field or in a, you know, a national park capturing an amazing view of mountains and waterfalls and you know beautiful vistas using a 14 mil and then see the one and only bear that we're likely to see come into view and not have the gear to be able to capture that. So um, I'm going to go through real quickly, starting with cameras, lenses, and then all the supplementary bits that we get. What I would really like is if anyone thinks I've forgotten anything that's crucial for this type of trip, please um, leave me a comment down below and let me know what I've forgotten. But also let me know if you think it's too much because it is a lot. I think my wife thinks it's too much. Um, but let me crack into it now and I'll show you everything starting with the camera body and the lenses. Okay, so for those that have watched the channel before, may know that I have a Canon R6. That's what I'm gonna be taking. It's small, it's not very big. I used to use a 5D Mark III, which wasn't that big, but this is even smaller. 20 megapixels, big enough what I need. Does video if I want to, and it's just a really, really good camera for this type of thing. So, yeah, that's what I'm taking in terms of my camera body. Now I'm taking three lenses that go from 14 mil all the way up to 200. The first one, starting in numerical order, if you like, is the 14 to 35. This is for those wide angles, those big shots where you want to capture mountains and um, national parks and valleys and cliffs and things like that. But it's also good if you're inside and you want to get a wider angle as well. It's the F4. So it's not the 2.8, but it's more than adequate for me, especially as the R6 is really good at ISO and things like that. So F4 is fine for what I'm doing. The next one is going to be the 24 to 105 F4. This is going to be my sort of walk around lens. There's the, if that's focusing, I don't know, but um, so this is going to be a walk around lens, 24 to 105. It's great from getting anything from landscapes to a, a bit of a zoom in if I need to capture something that's a little bit further away. I just want to change the angle or that composition. Um, 24 to 105 is the L version. Um, I also have the uh, the IS, no, not the IS, yeah, the IS STM one, the one you get, you know, the cheaper version, but this is better in low light because that at 105 is 7.1, whereas this stays at F4 through the whole range. So that's probably going to spend most of the time on the camera and it's going to be my main walkabout lens and generally going to stay on the camera for all, all eventualities. Now, the other one which is probably going to be used less which may seem pointless taking, but I can't risk not having it in my bag in case. And that is the 70 to 200. So like I say, I probably won't use this as much, but I wanna have something that will give me that further reach in case I see any wildlife or bears or um, buffalo, bison, whatever we're hopefully gonna see while we're out there. But we're also hoping to go to some rodeos and things like that. So it might be quite good for capturing the action if we're in the stands and stuff like that. So that's my three lenses, the 14 to 35, the 24 to 105, and the 70 to 200. Uh, so I've got an iPad here that I'm just reminding myself because I don't do this very often. So next up is batteries and chargers, nothing too complicated, but I've recently bought this USB charger so I don't have to take a plug. It's USB-C charger by KNF, KNF, KNN, KNF. Um, so it takes two batteries and it's a USB-C lead which charges up. Pretty good, pretty neat. 
um, and it can charge off a power bank now if necessary in the car or if we're in my bag or something. Um, but obviously it can also go into a wall adapter USB charger as well. So I'm probably gonna take four batteries in total um, and keep obviously one in the camera and then three on backup, constantly just rotating them as and when needed. So that is the battery and the charger, nothing too exciting there. Next up is a backup solution. Now I did a video on backups a little while ago and I'll put the link up here or down below. And it involves using a card reader. It involves using a one terabyte SSD hard drive and it involves using my iPad. Basically what that means I can do is I can plug all of these or both of these into my iPad. That goes in first. This goes in one of the ports. There's a card reader slot for the card, memory card to go in. And I can basically transfer all of my photos from my SD card onto this hard drive just using my iPad, which I'm always gonna take my iPad anyway. Um, so it's just these two extra items that I um, am taking, which don't take up much room. But it means that I'll have three backups because in my camera, I will have, uh, which, let me just show you the problem I've got though. Um, so I've got two memory slots in here. Hopefully that's focusing. But one of them doesn't stay down anymore. But the door, the door does keep it down. I'm really sorry if that's not in focus because I haven't got a screen on this camera so I can't tell. Um, but it still records to it and it only happened a week ago and I won't have time to get it fixed. So I'm hoping that it will last through the holiday. I do have two memory cards in here and I always record the same thing to both cards. So I've automatically got two copies and then I have a third copy when I transfer it to this hard drive. If for some reason this one stops working and I can only record to one, then I'll just have to be super certain that I'm transferring regularly to the hard drive to make sure that I've got my second copy. But I'm hoping it will get me through the two or three weeks. Um, I didn't want to send it off and risk not getting it back in time. So that is my backup solution because I want to keep all those pictures super safe, obviously. Next up, I have uh, filters. Now, I don't, I'm not, don't, I haven't used filters that much. I've only started using filters since I've started doing a bit more landscape photography. But both of my shorter lenses, the 24-25 and the 14-35, have a magnetic filtering on them. And I've got this filter kit that includes things like a polarizer, um, a graduated filter, and then just some ND filters to take some of that sun away if it's too bright and I wanna photograph something that's brighter. For the holiday I'm doing, it's gonna be no fixed photos. It's not gonna be like a serious landscape shoot. Whether or not I'll use these, I don't know. But I wanna take them just in case. Um, because they're so easy to use, just clip on and clip off again. Um, and I just wanna make sure that if I need them, I've got them. So that is also what I'm taking. Oh, and I take, so I didn't mention this with when I was talking about memory cards. I just got this little uh, hard case that has got six, eight, 10 memory cards in that I just use, swap out when I need to. Yeah, that's how I carry my memory cards. Um, and the other thing I'm taking that I hope I never have to use is a sensor cleaning kit. Now, a lot of people are scared about doing cleaning their sensor. And if you're careful, you can do it. I've done mine before and I'm going to do a quick video on how I do it. And it's not difficult. You just have to take care. You just have to be gentle. And I'd rather swipe five of these over my sensor five times than sw softly and get the dirt off and swipe one of these over the sensor hard and risk damaging it. So it's all just a bit about being tactful and but I'll do a video on that at some point um, and let you know that if I can do it, who's a really heavy handed klutz, anyone can do it. I mean, I say that's it, that's quite a lot for a family holiday. And you know, am I taking too much? Am I taking not enough? Uh, oh, my bag, let me show you my bag. I forgot about my bag and my tripod, oh my God. Okay, so the bag I'm taking, I didn't want to take a rucksack because I wanted to make sure I had a shoulder bag that I can basically, um, I don't know if this is going to show on the video, but it's going to basically going to be over my shoulder and it will just be easy to open and, you know, kind of get stuff out without having to put it on the floor. I can do it walking around. 
This is a low pro, a low pro Nova 200 AW2. And like I say, I love it because it's over the shoulder and um, be quiet, Alexa. Um, I can put it over the shoulder and I can change cameras and lenses without having to take a rucksack off. And so if you're in a crowded area, we're going to Mount Rushmore, for example, I wanna make sure that I can, you know, if we're queuing up or something, I can manage my gear without having to have a big rucksack. So that is the bag that I'm taking. Hopefully it will go on his hand luggage. I think it will, it's not too big. And the other thing that I'm still debating whether I should take or not is a tripod. Now I bought this little tripod here. This is a newer um, tripod again. I'll put the name down below. Um, but it's really small, it's really light. You know, I mean, I've got a water bottle here actually. You can see sort of how big it isn't. Um, and it's really quick. It's got the Peak Design clip on the top. So I can switch that between other, other cl uh, clasps and, and attachments that I've got. because so I've got one of the things that you stick up here to hang your camera in if you want to, that I don't use that often. Um, but it's great, it comes up to like, I think 140 inches or something like that. Um, so it's tall enough for me, it's really light. And it just goes in this little pouch that you can't see really. Um, it goes in this little bag here with its own handle. I think it's even got a shoulder bag as well, a shoulder strap that clips onto the end here. But I'm not sure if I'm gonna take that. I'm trying to think if I'll ever need it, but for the size of it, I think the defining factor, or the, de the decision that's gonna be made is whether or not we've got the weight to take something like that. And that will come when we pack, which isn't yet, unfortunately. So that's it. So like I say, let me know down below if you think I've forgotten anything, or if you think I'm taking too much, or if this is crazy to take on a family holiday. Bearing in mind, who knows when we're gonna be going back to the American Rockies and Mount Rushmore and Yellowstone and um, Grand Teton and Aspen, mm -hmm. another place we're going to, and Denver, and all these places that we probably won't go back for years and years and years and years, if ever again. So I wanna make sure I've got the right gear for the right situation. Um, yeah, if there's anything here that you like the look of that you've not seen before and you'd like to get one, there is a link down below to my um, Amazon storefront. Obviously it's an affiliate link. It doesn't cost you guys any extra, but if you do purchase from there, I get like a, about three pence kickback depending on um, how much you spend. So uh, yeah, it'd be great if you decide to buy anything to check out that link below. And don't forget to click the like button and give me a thumbs up, obviously, when that happens, that will be useful for the channel or gets it in front of other people that may enjoy the content and subscribe if you've not subscribed to the channel but how great to have you along loads of stuff coming up uh, and that's it for now thank you for watching and we i will see you in the next video